Good morning, it's Lindsay, and I'm going to be doing a 15 minute stretch and breathe. And you'll need a chair for this. So let's get started. So happy Monday. Let's just start with our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to do some big inhales and exhales. So inhale, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, bend your knees, arms down. We're going to do this several more times. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. And exhale, bend your knees, arms down. Really feel your breath. Inhale, big breath in, filling up. And exhale through your mouth. Two more times. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch up high. Exhale, bend your knees. Last one, inhale, arms overhead, big stretch, and exhale, arms down, bend your knees. Do some slow, backwards, huge shoulder circles. You can bend your knees, a little squat at the same time. See if you can take your shoulders up by your ears, all the way back and down. Take your time, just kind of moving your shoulder joint getting it a little bit lubricated. Let's reverse the direction. So same big circles, just take your time. Full range of motion, a couple more. And one more. All right, we're gonna do some lateral bending. So inhale, bring both arms overhead. As you exhale, drop your right hand down and lean your left arm over toward the right. So you can push the hips out to the left and just breathe here. Inhale and exhale, feeling that in your left side body. Inhale one more time and exhale. Inhale, bring your right arm up. And as you exhale, drop your left hand down. Push your hips out to the right side. Chest is facing forward. Just feeling that through your right rib side body, breathing at your own pace, inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring both arms up again. And then exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Now take your right foot back, calf stretch. So your toes are pointing straight forward and you're gonna push your right heel down. Your left leg is bent and you're gonna bring your arms up into cactus. And you're going to exhale, bring your arms together. Inhale, open up, pull back. Exhale, arms touch, shoulder, elbows touch. Inhale, pull back. Three more times. Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, pull back, gentle stretch for your chest. Exhale, last time, and inhale. And let's change sides. So take your left foot back, toes are still pointing forward. Let's do this cactus again. Exhale, elbows together, inhaling, stretch your pec. Exhale together, pull back. You're feeling it in your left calf, toes are pointing forward. Exhale and inhale. And one more time, exhale together and inhale, gently pull back. Now we're gonna do a crescent lunge. So take your right foot back. You're on the ball of the right foot and you're gonna inhale your arms up, drop into a little bit of a crescent lunge and then exhale, come up a little. Inhaling and exhale, just enough to feel it in your right hip. Just inhale and exhale. Your right leg is straight if you can. Inhaling and exhale. Let's do that on the left side. So take your left foot back on the ball of your left foot and you're gonna inhale arms up. Exhale, inhale, straight, bend your left, right knee and exhale. A little bit of balance, so 
feet wide enough apart that you can keep your balance. And exhale one more time, inhaling arms up. And exhale. Okay. So now we're going to do some cat cows with your chair. So hands directly below your shoulders, and you're going to inhale, drop your belly. Lift your gaze into the cow. And you're going to exhale, round shoulders back, hips under head, under chin to chest. Inhaling, slowly, and then exhale into the cat. Three more times at your own pace, slowly inhaling, and exhale. Inhaling, and exhale. Last one, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, and exhale. Now leave your right hand on the chair, directly below your shoulder. Left hand is at your temple, side of your head, and you're going to inhale, looking up toward your left elbow, and exhale, left elbow touches right wrist. Inhaling up, rotation through your thoracic spine, Exhale, left elbow touches right wrist. One more time, inhale to slowly up, don't pull on your neck. And exhaling, touching your elbow to your wrist. Let's do that on the other side, left hand under your shoulder, right hand at the side of your head, inhale, looking up towards your elbow, exhale, elbow to wrist. Slow inhale up. Exhaling, touching your wrist. Last time, slow inhale up. And exhale, touch your wrist. Now you're going to sit in the chair and you don't need your four stretch. So feet flat on the floor, cross your right foot over your left and gently push, push down so that you feel that through your right hip. You can sit up. Just notice the sensation around the outer part of your hip. Breathing slowly. One more inhale. And exhale. Same thing on the other side. So cross your left foot over your right knee and pressing on the inside of your left thigh and calf, not on your knee, and just sitting up tall. Doesn't matter if your knee's up here, that's fine. As long as you feel that through your left hip, sitting, pressing down. One more time, breathing in. And exhale. Now put your feet flat on the floor and you're going to forward, fold forward, head down, arms between your legs and relax your neck and just allow your head to drip down like a waterfall. So relax your arms and shoulders and you can nod your head if you need to relax your neck further. Just feeling that through your shoulders, your upper back. Coming up slowly. And then put your hands, thumbs out, hands on like they're, they're on your back pockets. Open up your elbows. You can also do this standing if your armrests get in the way. And just open up your chest. So you're stretching through your upper back, your chin can be neutral, or you can look up and just feel that stretch through your shoulders, your pecs, chest. This is counteracting all of the forward head posture that we have, counteracting rounded shoulders and release. Come on up and you, we're gonna use the chair for, if you would like. We're going to do a front side stretch so you can hold on to the chair for balance if you want and you're just going to grab hold of one foot press your hip forward if you don't need to then just grab your foot or your pant leg wherever you can even put your foot on the chair if it's difficult to get your grab your foot or your ankle as long as you feel that in your front thigh you're good knee is pointing 
pointing down. Let's try the other side. So grabbing hold of your foot or your ankle. If you need balance, you can hold the chair or not. And just practicing balancing, noticing how your ankle is working to hold you in that posture and how much proprioception is happening in your ankle to keep you stable. It's amazing how our body works. Okay, bring it down. And now we are going to do chin tucks. So you're going to just sit and pull your chin back, keep your chin level, and then take it back to normal. Chin retraction and release. Your head comes forward slightly. Retract so you're just pulling your chin back because our Quite often our posture is head forward. So you're correcting that posture, chin is level. And relax. And another chin tuck. And relax. You don't have to push on your chin with your fingers. Now, looking over your right shoulder as far as you can. Notice your posture. So pull your shoulders back if you're rounding. It's a habitual posture that some of us have. Bring your head back to neutral and take it over your left shoulder. Check your posture of your shoulders. Pull them back if they've drooped forward again. Head back to center. Now bring your nose towards your right armpit. If you like, you can help yourself by pulling on the left side of your head with your right arm. You don't have to. I think for me, this is just enough that I feel it. I'm getting that stretch in my ladder, neck muscles. It's enjoyable, it's not painful. Bring your nose to your left armpit. Gently pulling or you can pull or not, your choice. And then rotate from one shoulder with your chin over to the right shoulder, take your time. Then come back, it's just a half circle. From one shoulder to the other, really kind of just enjoying the feeling. You can go really slowly if you like. One more time. Bring your head back to the center. We're gonna do some more hip. So you can use the chair or not. You're gonna bring your right knee up, take it out to the side and take it down. So you're just opening the gate, trying to, our hips get tend to get really tight through the day. So this is just an opening of the gate. One more time. Oops. And now with your left leg, take it up and out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. Remember, it's really important to take the time to do some little micro breaks each hour, whether it be stretching or walking around or just something different just for your brain. And let's do some circles of your arms. So just arms up and bring them down. We're gonna do a couple more, crossing your arms up, switching tall, bring it down. One more time, arms crossing up and down. Take your hands out, let your fingers just go as loose as you can, and then open your fingers, counteracting what you do on the keyboard all day. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you take the time for micro breaks. It will make you more effective. So take care of your mind and your body. Have a good day.